Hey everyone, today we're making pumpkin hummus with roasted garlic to bring out the best flavor ever. I'm gonna season this up with some rosemary and a few other things that we'll get into a little bit later. I'm telling you, this is delicious. It's a great thing to take to a Halloween party or just make it anytime during the fall. It just, it's wonderful. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. You can't sing with a mouthful of chickpeas, but you can hummus a tune. <laughs> so the first thing we wanna do for our recipe is roast our garlic. You don't have to do that, but I think roasting the garlic makes it so much better. So we're gonna cut off about a quarter to a half an inch of the top of a bulb to expose the cloves. And then we're going to place this on a piece of foil and we're gonna drizzle about a tablespoon of olive oil over the top. Wrap the foil up over the clove and then place this in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for probably 45 to 60 minutes. You end up with these beautifully caramelized golden cloves that are nice and soft to the touch. Now remember, you can always use raw garlic, but if you do, just use one clove. And if you use roasted, you can use up to four. To start our recipe, I'm using organic garbanzo beans, which I got from Trader Joe's, and you wanna drain them before placing them into the food processor. Next, we're gonna add some tahini, which is just some roasted sesame seed pureed. Mine's been sitting in my pantry for a while, so it has separated and needs a good stir. We'll toss in about a tablespoon of that, and don't forget you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. And now we're gonna add some pumpkin. I have some organic pumpkin here, and it only contains pumpkin, so don't get the one with a lot of spices. Now we're gonna take a knife and pop out those beautiful roasted garlic cloves. Look at these, they're nice and soft and we're just gonna drop those right in. And you can use, like I said, up to four, maybe even five, depending on their size. Ground cumin is next, which adds a nice, slightly sweet warming flavor to our dish. Next goes just a little bit of maple syrup to give it a little bit of sweetness. A little cayenne pepper goes in next, but this is totally optional if you don't want any heat. Next is some salt to bring out those flavors. Now use some good olive oil and give it a drizzle. All right, I'm gonna blend this up at this point and then we'll add a few more ingredients. Now for a little lemon to brighten things up. Now there's nothing like some fresh rosemary out of the garden. So go ahead and grab yourself a couple of stems and peel off the petals and then give them a nice chop so they're nice and small. You'll need to chop enough for about a half a teaspoon. We'll toss that right into our hummus and blend this until it's completely smooth. Now is the time to take a taste and see if you need to make any adjustments with the flavors. You might need to add a little more salt or ground cumin or lemon or whatever. I went ahead and added just a little more salt. Give it another mix and now I'll show you how to serve it up and we'll garnish it. All right, it must be time for chef joke number two. What did the hummus say to the pita bread when he got sick? I falafel. Now back to the hummus, we're gonna serve this up into a nice dish. And I like to garnish this with a little bit of smoked paprika and I'm just putting it on one half of the dish. And I like to garnish this up with some crunch. So I'm using some roasted and salted pumpkin seeds. Make sure to check your ingredients before you buy them. And as you can see here, this is just pumpkin seeds and salt. You can serve these up on the side and I like to put some on top of the hummus as well. And of course, then we're gonna drizzle some high quality olive oil over the top. And of course, you can serve this wonderful hummus with crackers, celery, strips of carrots, whatever you like. And of course, this makes a wonderful and delicious and tasty appetizer. Give this a try and let me know what you think in the comments. If you're looking for something delicious to serve after that delicious hummus appetizer, well, you've got to try this recipe right here. This is my butternut squash casserole. Go ahead and click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to that recipe. Did you enjoy today's video? Let me know by smashing the old like button and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear if you have any recipe requests or any questions. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.